Always on the lookout for new toys. Now, as we heard earlier, the big news story of the week has centred on Facebook's purchase of virtual reality company Oculus. And it's certainly left a lot of people wondering what the future of VR might be. In the past, we've associated it mainly with gaming, but virtual reality could change the way that we view other forms of entertainment, like TV and movies too. As LJ Rich experienced recently in Texas, or should that be on the north wall of the Kingdom of Westeros? This is a virtual experience that promises to put viewers into one of the world's most popular television shows. The Oculus Rift visor allows you to see what many characters in the show would see, and there's even a wind machine to create the breeze that you would experience if you were to look over the Seven Kingdoms. Facebook says its acquisition of Oculus will change the way we work, play and communicate but I don't like strangers poking me in the real world, let alone the virtual one. I found the whole thing rather convincing. Not surprising, really, as it's backed up by some serious processing grunt from the same company who produced the Oscar-winning effect in Gravity. We've literally got ridiculous-sized power machines that we've custom-made, 3.3 gigahertz monsters feeding each machine. You're seeing stuff being rendered at 4K at 60 frames per second, so you've no sort of latency at all as you look around, which makes it super smooth. Now, given the average life expectancy of a character in Game of Thrones, it's no wonder the experience is quite short. And even though you follow a selected path rather than explore the world freely, it's impossible not to feel impressed at this simulated world, particularly when looking over a cliff edge that drops 700 feet. I feel like I'm just on a tiny platform at the, at the top of a cliff. It's, it's quite vertiginous, even though I know this isn't real. It is a little worrying. It's quite an odd experience because, of course, I know that I'm not ascending the wall at Westeros. The kind of feedback that you're getting from at least three of your senses feels pretty real. It's cold, it's sort of rattly, and you're, you're looking at something in 3D. I'm, I'm glad I've done it. I don't think I want to do it again. Though. Now the thing is, we take this to directors that we work with in the film world and say, fill your boots, you know, this is, this is for you to write now. This is uh, it's a whole new set of tools about non-linear storytelling for you to learn. And then I don't think we're too far away from starting a project where it'll be a properly led film directorial effort. LJ Rich, and despite what you may think, winter is coming. That's a Game of Thrones reference, although a bit pirate if you ask me, but never mind. Anyway, Facebook isn't just...